Rise of Shine, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, very excited. This is one of those waves where I go, I like every single figure that's in this, especially the collect to build figure. So today, we have the Black Lantern Superman, and he is part of the new four figure McFarlane Toys wave to feature Atrocitus, the Red Lantern. And he looks awesome, or at least I hope he's going to look awesome because. Yeah, this Black Lantern Superman is definitely right up my alley. On the sides of the box, the usual Black Lantern Superman from Blackest Night. The storyline, man, that was really cool. That was like their answer to Marvel Zombies back in the day. That was uh, that was definitely fun. Not the best payoff of the story, but you know what I mean. Here's all the characters in the wave. And then, of course, here is the barcode as well. These haven't started to hit store shelves now. This one actually came from the McFarland store. And I have to give a special shout out to my friend Al Kofri. He sent this over to me uh, for the purposes of uh, checking it out and doing this video. So thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. Please check him out on Instagram. And Al, the next one is on me. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a Blackest Night cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Black Lantern Superman Cal L. Part of the Blackest Night storyline as featured of McFarlane Toys' Atrocitus Collect to Build Wave. Let's check them out. And while I got all you zombies here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my McFarlane Toys videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So we'll check out this Black Lantern Superman, and he does come with two accessories in the sense of some severed legs of Atrocitus. So far, hey, it's just a leg, right? But it does look to be a rather large collected build figure, as seen here. So I'm interested in uh, putting them all together and see how he's going to go. Very stoked on that. You do get a normal flat black stand and you get a really cool looking Black Lantern Superman. Now, I never got the DC Direct versions, but this one is pretty darn cool as well. I like what they did with the face. I like the wash, the eyes, the teeth. It's just awesome. I love the way that this looks, the decrepitness, everything is emaciated and sunken. I love that little split above the lip. The teeth are all yellow and gnashy and man, I love the face portraits on that, if you couldn't tell, right? Looking down at the rest of the costume. For the most part, they got the costume right. I will say, though, on mine, it looks like the S is kind of melty. You know what I mean? It just looks a little bit too droopage. It's got some odd plastic pieces you can kind of pull off like they didn't do it at the factory. You know what I mean? So just something to keep in mind. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. I really like... The color of his skin, now if they put a wash on there, that would have been even better. That would have really brought out the details. But the sculpt is there, it's nice. Down to the tattered cape, you got three different pieces symbolizing the Superman cape. And from behind, yeah, he totally looks good. That's one Super S he's got going on. So, in either case, yeah, this is a pretty solid looking figure. And I just want to point this out. This figure, I hope this is like the new era of McFarlane Toys because it feels different. Look how much articulation you get in the head, right? It goes all the way up. Good for flying poses. You got butterflies, you got bicep, you have double jointed elbows. You got the usual, but this figure feels tighter than most. It feels like an updated McFarlane Toys figure, and I like this. Please keep this going. It's just a solid, really fun figure to move around. You see how much mobility you get. Now, in the crotch right here, the A is loose. I see why they did that. It's not too diaperish for me. I actually like it. I just wish it was tucked in just a little bit more on the sides, right? And then you have all the details. It does kind of hinder the leg. It's a lot, it's it's not as gummy as most of those pieces have been on other figures back in the day. You do have double jointed knees. And right here, the silver is kind of offset because the plastic joint in the middle is like a gray piece. So it kind of stands out a little bit. However, the new joint that they got for the ankles and the feet instead of those ball joints. Oh my god, it's so much better now. So, thank you for doing that. Very few qualms with this figure other than, we'll say, the paint not matching on the ankles. And then right here, because they still use the pin joint articulation, it kind of offsets the craggly skin. You know what I mean? So, that's just something that later down the road, if that can be fixed, that would be awesome. And it would just elevate these figures even more so now, and speaking of elevation, you can get this guy into a lot of great 
flying poses, hovering poses, flying corpse poses, whatever you want to do. He just looks good. He looks menacing. And I'm just overall very happy with the way that this guy came out. He's very evocative of the comic book, the Blackest Night storyline. This being Earth 2 Superman, right? So the guy that died during Infinite Crisis, like, I guess that was supposed to be the original Superman, then you have, like, the new Superman. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's just another version of Superman. But, yes, he's the more corpse-like one, and this is who we've got going. The teeth, the eyes, the menacing part of this is all captured perfectly. I love the way that this figure came out. Now, I'm a big fan of zombies in general, and I love when they're paired up with superheroes. So, I love Marvel zombies, I like DC zombies, I like all the zombie action you can do except for The Walking Dead. <laughs> At least for the TV show, the comic book was so much better. Anyways, you have all sorts of zombies on my zombie shelf, so you get a good inclination of the scale to him. So, yes, this Superman will clock in around the 7 inch mark, so he's taller than most of the other zombie toys that have been released in the last couple years. But he does look good, and he is a very welcome addition to my DC Comics zombie shelf. And if you were wondering, how does he scale with the living? Well, yeah, he will fit in nicely, especially with other Superman. He's a little bit taller than the Superman that I like to use, and that's okay with me. This particular Batman will be a little bit taller. He's a little bit too tall in most cases. The Superman is taller than Aquaman, though. When it comes to Green Lantern, really starting to go with that Blackest Night storyline, which I really wouldn't mind more figures, I'll tell you that. And of course, talking about other figures that can double as zombies, you can always use that Batman from the recent Death Metal storyline. However, this particular Bane from Last Night on Earth, yeah, he'll fit in perfectly with your new Black Lantern Superman. So, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Blackest Night Black Lantern Superman from the Collectibuild Atrocitus Wave. I really like this figure. Hands down, it's one of the best that they've done so far. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Blackest Night. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I'm really looking forward to the rest. As soon as those hit, rest assured, we'll be talking about them. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.